It is no coincidence that today's procession emanates from the Unity Fountain on a day when multiple faiths unite, unified in the belief that 195 missing young women will be rescued. His Eminence, Nigeria's Cardinal, and a highly respected Imam march together in solidarity. Striding shoulder to shoulder are faith leaders who inspire belief that intrinsic common bonds of humanity stand above false suspicions and ethnic bigotry in a diverse land craving peace and development above all. Arriving at the destination, faith leaders reveal the link between their pain and their protest. The Holy Ghost Father was taken away by kidnappers over a, week, a year ago, and up till now, we have had no information about him. Now, that touches me, but I'm sure there are many Nigerians who are suffering the same thing from the loss of their uh, members of their families. Aware that Islamic clerics and followers comprise the overwhelming majority of Boko Haram's victims, Sheikh Mohammed Nur Khalid says every human soul is of equal value. Some clerics like myself have been killed somewhere because of the insurgency of uh, Boko Haram. And we, we are not saying that the government is, not, is doing nothing, but we are telling them to do more. Uh, God of men should be safe. Every soul in Nigeria should be protected. In the throes of tragedy, opportunities to see oneself in another emerge. This was a walk for the release of captive girls, but it was equally a march toward a more united nation. Ajuri Ingilali, Channels Television News. Meanwhile, the Bring Back Our Girls group also took to the streets of the nation's capital today as part of his activities to mark the third anniversary of the abduction of the girls. This time, however, it was not a protest as the members entered the streets to engage citizens directly in a public sensitization campaign, handing out brochures containing updates on developments in the rescue efforts for the girls. The co-convener of the group, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, says the group is not a closed one, but is open to public feedback. There are many Nigerians who uh, still uh, need a, a lot of information on, on the tragedy of our Chiba girls. So in this engagement, it's supposed to help them to get all the information, the things that have that happened, uh, the things that were in the media, the things that government said, the things that parents said. So the informational just helps you to keep a proper documentation of the issues. And that that means that they are more informed. This movement does not have like um, a register of members. The minute you walk into the Unity Fountain, you're part of the movement. And you know, you, you're there to stand for Chiba girls. There is no, it's free entry, free exit. There's nothing other than your know, that act of saying, I want to use my voice for Chiba girls as symbols of all other people who need to be given justice of rescue. So anyone can go online, uh, be part of the movement. Anyone can be at the Unity Fountain daily as we normally are, you know, so it's really not uh, some, you know, group, no.